Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to how to do a pull to refresh from a table view controller. Um, so we're going to create a single view application and I'm just going to call it pull to refresh tutorial. Alright, and then I'm just going to use automatic reference counting. We're not going to use a storyboard for this one and we'll just go ahead and create our project alright so pull to refresh is maybe when you have a table view and the table view have refreshed but um, you haven't updated the view you can do a you can pull the table view down and then you can refresh it so for this we'll just add a, a table view to our view controller that's already created for us by creating a single view application. So now we're just going to add a table view in there and I'm just going to pull it up. No, I'll just leave it. And then I'll just have a button, round red button. I'll just add it to the top. And I'm just going to call this add item. All right. So basically, what we're going to do here is I'm going to preload some items onto the table view and when I click add items it's gonna add it to the it's gonna wanna add it to the table view but the table view is not gonna refresh and it's gonna refresh when you pull it down so let's make our necessary connections open up our assistant editor just control click and drag on the table view and I'm just gonna call this my table view Connection will be outlet. Type is UI table view. Storage is weak. And control, click and drag the add item button on here. Connection will be an, an action type. I'm just going to call it add item button press. Type is ID, event touch up inside. Argument is sender. All right, so those are all the. <coughs> All the connections that we need. So now we'll open up our view control implementation file. Just gonna delete this did receive memory warning because I'm not gonna use it. And in our view did load, I'm just going to um, add a couple of items to the array. So we're gonna, we're gonna create a couple of. Um, um, instance variables. I'm just going to create an ns mutable array. The ns mutable array, I'm going to call it array of items. It will just hold the array of items that's going to be on the table view. So here I'm going to do array of items equals ns mutable array alloc init. Then I'm just going to add like two things to the item. So array of items add object and object I'll just add the, the string one and then I will add another one add array of items add object and it will be string two okay and when the add item button is pressed it calls this method so here I'm gonna do array of items add object and we're just gonna add the the numbers following that so we're gonna do ns string string with format and percent d is the format for the integer and then percent d and I'm gonna do array of items count Oops arrays of item count so right now the count is one like zero zero ones no actually the, the count is two right now so if we do an add count it's gonna add two so I want to add one more to that so plus one so the next item we add will be three and then following items that we add will be four and so on okay so now we're gonna we're gonna um, okay don't forget this part again set the table view, table view delegate and data source go to the view controller dot h and 
behind the interface view controller is a subclass of view controller. We want to conform to these protocols UI table view data source and UI table view delegate. You want to conform to those two protocols, and then go back to our view controller dot m. Then you can say self dot my table view dot delegate equals self, and then self dot my table view dot data source equals self. Okay, and then we'll just create a the data source and delegate methods for the UI table view. Delegate and data source for UI table view. All right. So we're just gonna do a number of sections in table view. So just start typing number, and that option will pop up. It's called number of sections in table view just return one because there will only be one section in here and then start typing table view and then we have to do number of rows so just keep scrolling down until you find a method called number number of rows in section here we go number of rows in section it's how many rows there will be so we'll return an array of items count. So that will return however many uh, items there are in the array of items and it will return that. So that's how many rows it's going to have. And then our last method that we need is cell for row at index path. So look for that method to start typing table view and look for here it is cell for row at index path. And then we're just going to do in a string cell identifier equals cell. And then we'll create a UI table view cell. I'm just going to call it cell equals table view. DQ reusable is cell identifier. And it'll be cell identifier. And if the cell is nil or if not cell, then cell equals UI table view cell alec init with style. Style will be UI table view style cell style default reusable identifier again is a cell identifier. And then from there um, I'm just gonna create an a string called str it's array of items, objects at index, index path, dot row, dot row. Okay, so what that's doing is it's getting whatever um, the object the uh, in the array of items. Right now, there's um, two objects, objects one and object two, and then it's populating the the cell with the objects from the index path dot row. So for index path dot row, when it's zero, it will it will use the number one, and when the row is one, it will use this one, the number two. And then we just want to put that in cell. So cell dot text label dot text equals str. And then at the very end, we'll just return cell. All right, let's run on our simulator and then so we haven't got to the refresh part yet but this is to set up the table and then we'll get to the refresh part as soon as um, we see that this is working all right so here's our item one and two we can keep on clicking add item nothing happens we can pull it down right now nothing happens but um, if you have ever had the mail mail app or like some other apps that does uh, table view sometimes when you pull it down it will automatically refresh the table so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now so for that I'll just create another instance variable I'm just gonna call it It'll be a UI refresh control type. I'm just gonna call it refresh control. 
and then in the view did load method I'm just gonna say refresh control equals UI refresh control Alec init and then I'm just gonna add um, add add it to my the my table view so we'll just do self dot my table view add sub view so we add it as a sub view refresh control and but before that we need to say we need to add the action to it so it knows what to do when we refresh it so do refresh control add target target will be self action will be whatever action we wanted to do so at selector and then we just type the method name it will just say refresh table view and for control event will be UI control event value changed okay and after doing that so so here we we initiate the instance to the refresh control and then here we do add target pick the selector for um, UI event value change and then we add the refresh control as a sub view to my table view alright so now the last thing we just need to do is um, start defining the method called refresh table view because that's the method that gets called when you when you pull down the table so void refresh table view and then we'll just say self dot my table view reload data okay oops you can just say dot reload data okay let's doesn't like it I guess I have to do that in the bracket notation reload data we go it likes that one we just run it and see okay here's one two add item that should be three add again it should be four doesn't show up we'll pull it down there it shows four okay so um, this thing still persists so we need to get rid of it so after we do a add a refresh table view we just need to um, fix this thing so we'll just say refresh control and refreshing and then that'll get rid of it so we add that to the refresh table view now let's run our project again okay so here's one two we pull it down nothing changes add item one two three okay so I click that three times so three four five should pop up when I do a refresh three four five see I can press it once six should pop up after a refresh six see seven eight nine ten so now there's ten eleven twelve pull, oh pull it harder there we go eleven twelve and so on okay guys so that's pretty much how you do a uh, pull to refresh from a UI table view so thanks for watching the tutorial and I'll see you next time Bye guys.